Cross in the blue corner. She tipped the scales at 50.8 kilos. From right here on the Gold Coast, she's trained by Angie and John Wayne Parr from the famed Boon to Jim. Her professional fight record, three fights, three wins, two big wins by way of knockout already. An Australian champion and tonight she is the current reigning Defending flyweight WIBA world champion. She was born to fight the golden goal from right here on the Gold Coast. Give it up. This is Jazzy Princess Park. The princess and the honeybee. Protect yourselves at all times, obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves, good luck to both of you. Jasmine Parr with a slight height and reach advantage, really contrasting styles. As Jasmine, I guess, hinted on, uh, so to Brianna in our video piece prior to this, we're scheduled for 10 two minute rounds. It is Parr, the champion. A couple of times over in a couple of different sports in the black and blue and Harrison in the black and the, the yellow. Both really happy to be on the front foot mate. Both, that's where they're comfortable. And, and, and that's going to be the problem here tonight. Both, both girls are predominantly front foot fighters so it'll be a war of attrition and whoever's going to win that battle will probably come out on top tonight as we can see. Harrison hasn't wasted any time marching forward, plunk, throwing plenty of punches, and they've all got venom in them. It's terrific. The first time live seeing Brianna Harrison. Good right hand over the top from yeah. Harrison. Great body shot too. Nice from par. I, I tell you what, for a girl that was coming into the lines then, with less experience, she has been confident the whole week, all the way throughout the... Obviously, all the media and the weigh-in yesterday, she was confident she was going to cause the upset. Really strong upper body defence. Using the arms, the forearms and the gloves. Really, really nicely, Brianna Harrison. Like, still throwing shots, but when it's time to defend, defending well, so too Jazzy here. Little smirk on the face of the princess. Yeah, good right hand there from Jazzy. Oh, and a left hook to follow as well. Father in the corner with a Wayne Parr, with John Wayne Parr. Mum Angie, who back in the day was an absolute ass kicker as a fighter. And brothers and si brother and sister oh. both here. Jazzy. Round one down. We get a good one. You yeah. just yeah, you can, yeah. And you, you can see probably where Jazzy holds. The advantage is she's done this before. She's gone the 10 round distance yeah. before her last fight. This is her first defense of her world title after she picked up probably her career best winner last start against Nicola Costello. And in that fight, Nicola Costello came in overweight, so it's even probably more impressive victory yeah. for, for Jazzy Parr. So she knows she can she can hang around for 10 rounds with a bigger, stronger girl because she's done it before. As you can see some replays here from the first round. It was a really good round for Brianna Harrison, though. She started ultra fast and connected with a few shots. State of Origin battle representing Queensland. Here's Jasmine Parr representing New South Wales, Brianna Harrison. Yeah, Brianna coming off a KO victory herself last start, so her confidence will be high, and she's translating it here in these opening two rounds because she's started like a bull out of a gate. Oh, right hand just missing there from Brianna. Yep. Yeah. Not sure if the Jasmine Parr right hand. Found it, but Jazzy fighting from the back foot here. I still have a feeling I've called Wayne Parr here, whether it was boxing or whether it was kickboxing back in the day, maybe late 1990s, early noughties. Okay. 
never going to be far from each other here. Both are going to push this. Good shots there from Brianna. And there's a receipt there from Jazzy Parr. Yep. Starting, starting to the body, finishing to the head. Once again, using that lead hand as a ruler to keep her opponent at bay. Jesse Parr had a couple issues getting to weight. She was 100 grams or something yeah. yesterday, so just a little off, but dehydration and rehydration wouldn't have been a concern for the Pars. Good shots from Parr. She's got a really tight guard with Brown oh, Harrison. Yeah, doesn't she? Yeah, if Jasmine's going to get through with any telling shots, she's going to have to work her way through. Oh, you can see. Oh. They're both basically carbon copies of each other. Yeah. Both fight very similar, got equal power, equal output. This is a good fight. Round of action here. So against Harrison. Spent a lot of time in Thailand over the last uh, nine months as Jesse Park. Yeah, so we've got some replays of round two. Another really action-packed one. Both girls biting down on their mouth guard and just throwing plenty of leather. Jazzy's obviously got all the hometown support, but that, that hasn't worried Brianna Harrison one bit. She's the New South Wales visitor, but she doesn't give a shit. Great punches. Great to see Nicola Castillo in the crowd here. Great to see Trent Broadhurst. Uh, Floyd Masson is another one. Billy Johnson, the former Australian middleweight contender in the house amongst others, all supporting some of the local product here in southeast Queensland. Jasmine Parr, Brianna Harrison. It continues. And Parr on the back foot, but, but handling that duty very, very well. Harrison just charging forward. Slight height and reach advantage for Jasmine. I haven't seen much of Brianna Harrison before tonight, but I want to see more because this is an unbelievable display so far. And she's uh, she's action packed. Good left hand in the middle of that from Jazzy. Good shot there from Harrison over the top. And again, from part, yeah. there, there is just nowhere to go, and there is nowhere to rest. Two supremely fit athletes. You can see the punch stats would be way up there already. <laughs> oh, shot from Jazzy Parr. Oh, and the left hook to follow. And back to center ring, touching the body, finishing to the head. Good little section there for Jazzy Parr. Absolutely, it was 20 seconds remaining in the round. Paul Tapley has had very little work to do here. Good shot from Harrison. Yes. You get the feeling the momentum shifts are going to be significant and regular. As long as this fight does go. What a crazy work work. Well, take a breath. Not just the boxers, commentators <laughs> and fans. That is... We have only finished round three and we're going 10 here. How many punches have they thrown already? You see some replays of round number three. Yes, that's right. Only round number three. And the punch stats are through the roof. Good left hook there from Jazzy Park. And the crazy work rate from Harrison. Once again, not discriminating between the body and the head, sharing her punches up and down. Right hand from Jazzy Parr. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Both girls, there it is there. Very much just second nature for Jasmine, her brother Jesse. Been in the gym since 
you know, basically they were in nappies, been throwing punches since preschool. And uh, so much of it is just natural to them. Here we have Harrison launching an attack. And Jesse Pass rolling up underneath the oh. left, uh, left eye. There's a big right hand there from Harrison land landing and forcing Jazzy part of the corner, but she got out well and she's back on the jab. Good shot from Jazzy Parr, right hand over the top. The uppercut just missing there, but back to center ring, very smart. Strong against the ropes, both women trying to assert their physical dominance over the other. One-two combination, scoring well for Jazzy Park. What Brianna's is doing. Ooh, first warning there on the break. Catching her opponent with a right hand on the break. She just got a warning there. We'll just add a little bit to it. Just a bit of feeling. 40 seconds remain in the round. Her dad will be saying you can do everything once. You get a warning once for everything. So do them all once. Oh, shots there from Jazzy Park. See both girls see punches very, very well. Yeah, slipping well and yeah. encountering very well. Yeah, the timing of both, both women is just fabulous. Pass circling to her. Oh, right hand, left hook. Both scoring with plenty of authority for Jazzy Park. Oh, wow. I changed my tip from last fight to this fight being the fight of the night. They, the women steal the show more times than not Nicola Costello, Jazzy Park. What about those fights? Oh, unbelievable. And I think, Andy, it's just because they don't have the, the one-punch knockout power yeah. of the men, so they can they can wear more, so that makes for a better and more entertaining fight to watch for the fans. See some replays once again of round four. It was cut and loop it back because it was more of the same. Ultra Tune, Pro Edge Civil Action, Metal Recyclers, Wanless Waste Management, Hannay Lawyers, and Oxworks. Our wonderful major sponsors, all part of the Ace family. Honeybee Princess, it continues. Reckon the crowd's not into this. They are loving it wherever you're watching live around Australia. In fact, wherever you're watching live around the world on YouTube. The Ace Channel, we hope you're enjoying. Hope you've had a cracking day. Picked a few winners, enjoyed a bit of footy and setting up for a nice, peaceful Sunday. We're not done just yet. We've got plenty of face punching to go. Jasmine Parr and Brianna Harrison in the middle of a moment where they're trying to steal the show. They want you talking their names at the end of the night, not the boys. And like you said, Andy, they do a good job of stealing the show every fight, the, the, the female fighters. I tell you what, they, they show plenty of heart every single time. Good shots here from Brianna Harrison with the hook over the top. The world's changing, the game is changing, and the girls, their talent levels are insane in terms of improvement to what they were three or four years ago. Just insane. And these two are a proof of that and what you're seeing at the moment. Harrison remaining very much the front foot fighter here. Wow. I think Jasmine's done a terrific job boxing from her heels, basically, for the majority. Yeah, she's... Uh, she's She's trying to do everything well, but sometimes she's just getting bullied into the corners by Harrison, but understandably so, because she's strong. Good shots here from Harrison. And good counters from Jazzy Parr. Back to center ring and scoring with authority. Harrison then launches. Beautifully balanced both these athletes too. Just a little lull towards the end of the round. 10 two-minute rounds. Oh, punch the journey. 
Just a little late on that shot, Jazzy Parr. Trickle of blood from the nose of Brianna Harrison. How tough are these girls? They've been hit with everything already, and we're only halfway through the fight. Another unbelievable round, round five. Good punches there from Brianna Harrison. But she came back. Queen Jazzy Parr, she all, like she always does. Bites down their mouth guard and throws just as hard, if not more. Round number six coming your way, the second half of this war, and war it is. Both girls look amazingly fresh considering the output. And we are away. That with the first two punches of the second half of the fight. She is launching with bad intentions as Harrison. Oh, she is putting everything into every shot. You'd think it'd be zapping the, the petrol tank, but it's not at all. No, is... At this stage, it's not. It's a, a huge wrap on Jasmine Parr's defences. We know what she can do offensively, yeah. but defensively, she needs to be on point here tonight. Otherwise, she's going to be asleep. They've travelled some distance around the ring tonight. Park going to work on the body. Both girls equally as good to the body there. Good shots from Jazzy yeah. Park. Yeah, terrific defining shots from Jasmine Park. You can see as soon as she gets that little half gap, she starts throwing, and that's when she's very effective. Good. Back to centre ring, back on the jab for Jazzy Park. And Harrison marches the back to the ropes again. This is just terrific. Taking turns. It's almost one for one in the corner. As Parr turns Harrison. Tries to get some ring authority in terms of position. Yeah. Just a slip, nothing more, nothing less. Oh, right hand from Jazzy Parr. Might be a defining moment in this round, but Brianna Harrison is trying to stake her claim now. What a finish. Cracking fight. They are leaving it all in there. Brianna Harrison still standing in the corner. I reckon she's deserved the sit down rest. Have a look at these rounds. It just look like they're on replay. Constantly the same stuff. Just punches on punches on punches. Fantastic work, girls. Unbelievable. They put on a hell of a show. And it should be no surprise. Our Oxmar properties replays. Here's the right hand from Park. A beauty. We're back into it. We've got more for you. Ten turning around the journey. And again, Harrison starts. All punches, all front foot. Amazing focus to maintain the game plan. And, and the game plan must be start fast every round. Don't allow Jasmine Park anything. Exactly. Just take that distance away from her and just throw. She has got an engine and a half. The engine is coming up next, Dan Hill, but I think we're seeing the female version here in this pre-main event. Brianna Harrison and Jazzy Parr unloading now. This is brilliant. Halfway through the round, so much more to go. So much more to give. Parr on the 
the back foot, trying to create just a little bit of space. The chance going up, Jazzy Park. Jazzy Park. She needs every bit of that energy because Brianna Harrison is here to stay to the 10th round. Back into a, almost a clinching position. Mentioned the height reach advantage to Jazz, who looks at looks at the big screen to see how long to go. She wore a left hand there, Jasmine Park. It was a really good punch, as a matter of fact, from Brianna Harrison. Two fights, two wins to Harrison over Talisha Turner and Sarah Watt. Good right here hand from go. Jazzy Park. She's hurt her here. Jazzy he, Park's got her opponent hurt. A big first, right hand. For the first time in the fight, Harrison was back footing it. And a great opportunity oh. for a rest. But the first glimpse of vulnerability. Just when you thought that there was going to be a Harrison round, yeah. it's just swung completely the other way and it's gone to par. Unofficially, of course, but that was a massive closing out to that round. Some cracking shots, especially the end of the round from par. That was it. I'm sure we'll catch him here on our replays, but. What a round changer that was, that last 10 seconds of the seventh round. Relentless punching from both girls. But she had her hurt in that last 10 seconds, and here it is, bang. Culmination of shots, just rocking the socks of Bri Brianna Harrison. Oh. We continue. Wants to start each round with authority on the front foot and with some power, and she does just that. And she walked into a couple of Jasmine pass shots late in the previous round and got tagged twice there. Yeah. Her head's, uh, her chin's a little bit high at the moment. She she was initially in the earlier rounds fighting behind that guard, but now that's gone. That. The gloves have dropped just ever so slightly. And Jazzy Pass seen that and taken advantage of it. Terrific fight. The WIBA flyweight title. Pushing forward again, Jasmine Park. Good shot from Jazzy Park. Two punch combination, both landing and landing hard. Oh, another right hand from Jazzy Park. Catching her opponent as she was coming in. Last 30 seconds of the round, Park over the top. But backed up against the ropes. Blood out of both nostrils now for Brianna Harrison. Jasmine Parr back into the corner, then the ropes oh, creates a bit of room. And they continue to trade yeah. punches all the way yeah. until the final bell. Good round for Parr that round. That was a really impressive round. Scoring with a lot of clean shots, which should be easy for the judges to score. Round number eight was a goodie, and I, I think, like I said, a goodie for the home girl. Plenty of clean shots scored, you can see there. Right hand, left hook, both connecting hard. Relentless, both girls. They've earned their paycheck as well. Round number nine, here we go. Four oh. minutes left. Four minutes only, and we have seen so much. 
What have they got left? If anything. Brianna Harrison in the black. And the yellow. Jasmine Carr in the black, gold and blue. And Harrison certainly starting in a very different manner. To what he has done the previous rounds. Right hand there yeah. from Jazzy Palm on the back foot. And Harrison just keeps on throwing. They must be exhausted. The tempo at this stage has slowed in this round, but it, it took nine rounds to do that. The car before the storm, perhaps, as we prepare for the tenth and final. Nice little short right hand there by Brianna. Good shots and close from Jazzy Park. Catching her with her uppercut as she was coming in. And Harrison marches forward. In basic terms, if you're not going to win via KO or TKO, you want to make it as uncomfortable for your opponent as you possibly can. And by doing it however you can. And that's exactly what Brianna Harrison has done to Jasmine Park and I. Has had an answer to every question. Three defining right hands just scored there for Jazzy Parr. Rocking the head back of Brianna Harrison. She is one tough cookie. Last exchange of round number nine. Both fighting down on the mouth guard. Honestly. And yeah, don't they deserve the rest Honestly. Here? What a fight again. Wow. Deep breaths for 60 seconds. If I could gift you another 30, ladies, I certainly would. You deserve it. For the 60 second rest, and then we're back into it for the 10th and final. A crazy pace. You can see this ninth round. Get set to raise the roof, Southport. Let's bring it over the final two minutes. Have you sure seen you more punches thrown in nine rounds? I don't think so. This has been just two. I can't minutes. recall ever, ever. No. Male, female, whatever. I've never seen this many punches thrown in nine rounds, especially considering they're only two minute rounds. Yeah, it's right. absolutely touch extraordinary. Go. They touch them up. This is it. Oh. Two minutes to go. Jasmine Powell oh. in the black, blue, oh. and gold. Brianna Harrison in the black and the yellow. And they are going to finish exactly the same manner as they started. High energy, fists flying, and both trying to drop the other. Brianna Harrison has just pushed forward and forward the entire fight. And Jasmine Park, a very different Jasmine Park tonight. This has this been a terrific performance it's just a fourth fight but she's been tested in ways she hasn't been tested before what a pace the whole way through it has not stopped the, the pace has not stopped right left hand good point Jasper Parker and Harris is into it as well the crowd Absolutely loving it. We are inside the final minute, and this has been 20 of the most furious minutes you will ever see in combat sports. Two girls with very limited professional boxing experience have just thrown down like never before. Both girls have to book themselves into the doctors because they aren't normal. This is crazy. I can't believe what I'm seeing. 30 seconds remain. However the result goes, and whichever way the judges go, both girls have got a future in the sport and a future with ace boxing. You can come back whenever you want. You talk about high energy. You talk about being evenly matched. Well, that is what this is. Brianna Harrison, Jasmine Park, doing in the final seconds what they started. How 
good was that? Tip your hat to both girls. Stand the pull. Applaud. The whole crowd here at Southport is on their feet. That is something, something special. I tell you what, Andy, if cash was still a thing, it would be showered. The ring would be showered with coins. What an unbelievable performance by both girls. Left nothing in the tank. Output was enormous. The punch stats were enormous. And the crowd absolutely loved it. What a fight. What a fight. What a fight. Tough one for Dan Hill and Dylan Biggs to follow. Those boys would want to turn on something special. Because we certainly know Jasmine Parr and Brianna Harrison have. Jazzy just acknowledging mum and a brother Jesse's over there, a younger sister. Been lucky enough to know the Parr kids for, well, they're all in nappies when I first met them. I can never remember if it was Jasmine or if it was Jesse that always punch you in the bum. <laughs> Just for no reason because they were at that height, but fighting is in the family. Mum and dad fighters, trainers, ambassadors. Chanel Dargan in the corner with a New South Wales sister there. Yep. Made the trip up to sunny Gold Coast. Terrific fight and, and no loser, no loser at all. Certainly not the crowd that's witnessed this. Yeah, we'll have her back anytime. Brianna Harrison, what a performance. Brianna Harrison, Nicola Costello, perhaps? Yeah, why not? WIBA title. That's the reward. We've got the crew from uh, Avia Holmes, Tommy Egan, team with the, the belt. Two nervous girls, two exhausted girls. Get every reason to be exhausted. That was something special. James O'Shea and Paul Tapley just going through the numbers. Working out who's done what, whose hand gets raised, and in which direction the belt goes. Let's go ringside. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get set to make this one official. But first of all, so we've got Tommy Egan, Ravi Holmes, end to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause. They deserve your applause. What a fight that was. So, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' school cards. Judge Paul Williams scores the bout. 96-95, Harrison. Judge Phil Gregory scores the bout. 96-94 to par. Judge Rodney March scores the bout. 97 to 93 to your winner by split decision. And still, WIBA World Champion, Princess Jazzy Parr. 96-95 Harrison, 96-94 Parr, and 97-93 to Jasmine Parr. So, intriguing. Yeah, well, you were as close, Andy, but you can see what it meant for Brianna Harrison. Sulking in the corner, crying in the corner. You know what? She deserves to be upset because she put on the performance of her lifetime. And against anyone else in the world, I reckon she would have won tonight. Let's go to James. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get a few words with our winner, uh, Jazzy. That was some fight. For us to watch, what was it like to be one half of an incredible night of action? Yeah, it was crazy. Look, massive credits for Bree. 
I knew she was going to come out crazy, but she kept it for 10 rounds and mad respect. That was a war. Uh, hence, I had a little chuck over there. But you know what that is? Fucking hard work, everyone. So, yeah! <laughs> what did it mean to you to hear those words and still at the end of that fight? Yeah, it feels good. I know she brawled, but man, I was moving my head. Watch your back. I was moving my head. I was defending the whole time. You know, I kept going even though she pressured me. I can fight backwards. I can fight left. I can fight right. I can fight all day. Let's go. So you felt you did enough in that fight? Yeah, 100%. I know I did enough. It was a close fight, 100%. But when you know you did the work, you did it, and I did. It was hard work for 10 rounds. It was non-stop action, no stops at all, no breaks whatsoever. Yeah, 100%. Like I said, mad credits to Bree. She's a warrior, and I think she's going to keep getting better and better. If you want to do it again, we'll do it again. I am king. And finally, here, your hometown, so many people supporting you. What's this moment mean to you? Have all these people cheering your name. Yeah, thank you so much, everyone on the Gold Coast, for coming. You know, Gold Coast is my home, and I love you all. Thank you. Congratulations. Put your hands together for us. This is Princess Jazzy Pass, still your world champion, and keeps her undefeated, a record intact. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, so we've got a special guest that's jumped into the ring.